Hi and welcome to my very first how to. Today I'm going to be showing you how to emboss with ink, the stamp, clear embossing powder and my embossing tool. Mm -hmm. Heat gun. Alright, so we're going to take our stamp. The best thing to do is to have a catch-all paper underneath because that we're going to use to pour the embossing powder back into the tub. All right. So, let's get started. We're going to take our ink. If you're using clear, you're going to use a color ink. All right. And we're going to ink this up. Now my inking, you know, my stamping um, skills leave a lot to be desired, so please, if it doesn't come out right, I do apologize in advance. All right. So, we're just going to stamp it down in the middle. Here we go. Right. Also, if you have any tips for stamping, please, by all means, let me know because I absolutely am terrible at it. Didn't come out exactly as I wanted, but it's all right. Now we're going to pour over our embossing powder and I always like to close that because Murphy's Law, I'm going to knock it over. All right, so let's shake that about on here. All right, so there, it's pretty much all covered. You can actually get a little uh, powder bag to rub over it so that the powder doesn't actually catch on everything, you know, all, all the rest of the paper without, without ink on it, but I don't have one of those. So for now I'm just going to set that aside and let's pour this back in. I also tend to talk before thinking, so forgive all my ums and ahs and the likes. Also, you can tell when I'm thinking because I tend to pause what I'm saying when I'm concentrating. All right, so that's done. We can put that aside. We can put that aside. Now, this will become a little noisy, but bear with me. There's the heat gun. Be careful. It gets very hot. So let's turn it on, and it will burn your fingers, so do be careful. All right. Let's set that aside. And I normally like to just hold it down and blow on it gently so it can cool. And the paper will warp, but that's natural. So, as I say, I like to hold it down so that it lies flat when it's dry. Otherwise, if you're also going to be sticking it down, it doesn't really matter because the sticky is actually going to hold it down flat anyway. Now, this is slightly off center but such is the way of stamping. And there we go, it's dry. My fingers did touch it while it was still wet, so um, my fingerprints may be in there, but it appears to have dried pretty okay. Now because the ink wasn't particularly even, you can't really see it, but if you feel it, it has a glossy embossed feel to it, um, which obviously you know gives the card some texture and a bit of interest. Alright, so that is, as simple as that, how to emboss. Thank you.